So earlier, we were looking at how you can write KSP expressions for saturated solutions, you know. And uh, today we're going to be able to calculate the value for KSPs also, you know. So, but before I do that, let's just remember, you know, as an example, let's say I have a saturated solution of magnesium fluoride. What that means is that saturated solution is in equilibrium with this aqueous ions and the solid. So there's an equilibrium between the solid, magnesium fluoride, and its aqueous ions like this, and 2F e, minus aqueous. And the last thing we did was write the KSP expression for this also. So we could write the KSP expression for this. KSP for this would be just the right-hand side, not the solid on the left-hand side. So it comes out F minus whole thing squared. And that would the KSP be for this. Now, how does one find the value for this? Because that's the next thing we're looking at. How do I find a value for the KSP expression for anything, you know? So for that, let's take a look at an example, as a question, in fact. And this one is also in your notes, but I'm going to put it up right here. So working with the solution we already have, the, uh, which is magnesium fluoride. So it says here, a saturated solution of magnesium fluoride has a particular solubility of this. Now, when you hear the word solubility, understand the term solubility means what? Solubility here means it is the concentration of a saturated solution, meaning how much of the solid dissolved in one dm cube. And using that information, we got to find the KSP. Now, I'll keep my uh, KSP expression right on top and the e equation. But how does one solve this? So to solve this, the first time I've got to use the ice table for equilibria to help you solve this. So for example, what is the ice table, if you remember, from K C and KP, is that if you have magnesium fluoride dissolving to make magnesium 2 plus, I'm writing the equation again, I don't know why, but I am. And the idea for the ice table is that you have a certain an in initial amount is the time amount you took for one, and then the change, which was the reacted amount, and the moles at equilibrium. And you can use it for equilibrium moles or concentration. Because what is concentration? Moles per dm cube. So amount of moles in one dm cube. So what you realize is that, let's say we have a certain volume of this. We don't even care what the volume is, honestly speaking. What we only really care about is the you know, concentration. So let's say, Let's say we had one dm cube of this, of this solution. So let's say we are only making one dm cube of magnesium fluoride's saturated solution. The volume doesn't really matter, but let's say we were making one dm cube. Now we know this is the amount of magnesium fluoride that will dissolve. We don't know how much we started with. So let's say we didn't know, so we'll say initially before dissolving it in water, we had A moles of magnesium fluoride and no moles of magnesium and fluoride ions because they didn't dissolve yet. Because now we're putting them into water. But after putting them into water, we know this much dissolved. In one dm cube, this many moles dissolved. So what we know is that that's the amount of moles that dissolved. So the change moles were this many moles of magnesium fluoride dissolve to give magnesium ions and fluoride ions. So if this many moles dissolved and change is the only row that is in the ratio of the equation. So if this many moles of magnesium fluoride are dissolving, how many moles of magnesium and fluoride ions do they make? So it makes the same amount of magnesium ions because the ratio is one is to one for magnesium and magnesium fluoride, but it makes twice as many fluoride ions, you know? So this many moles of magnesium fluoride would dissolve to give me this many moles of magnesium and this many moles of fluoride ions. And this is all happening in one dm cube. So at equilibrium, how much of MgF2 will I have left? I would have left one minus one, A minus 1.22 times 10 to the power minus three. How much of Mg is left? Well, 1.22 times 10 to the power minus three. And how much of fluoride is left? Well, two times 1.22 is 2.2. 4, 4 times 10 to the power of minus 3. So right now, this is what we have. We had initial moles, we did not know, and none of them existed for those ions. This much of this amount dissolved, because that's what's been told to me. 
in one dm cube. So I'm doing this for one dm cube. And since it's concentration, it will work for everything. So we do a one dm cube. In one dm cube, this many moles dissolve. And they will dissolve in the ratio of the equation. One is to one is to two. So one will dissolve to give me one is to two. And what's left, start with A, this reacted away. It actually decreased. You know, the change was, it was decreasing. So A minus that is what I have left. And you might say, well, we don't know A. That's fine, we don't know A. Because for KSP, we don't know that, we don't need this. If you look at KSP, what do we need to find KSP? The constant of concentration of magnesium and the concentration of fluoride ions, which we already have from the solubility. So now, how do I find the KSP for this? So the KSP for this would be the concentration of magnesium into the concentration of fluoride ions square. This is moles, but in one dm cube, this will become moles per dm cube. So magnesium is 1.22 times 10 power minus 3. And 2F is 2.44. F, sorry, F is 2.44 times 10 power minus 3. And that whole thing is squared. And that will give me the final answer. So now using that, I'll get a value for the KSP. And this will give it to you 7.26 times 10 power minus 9. And the units will be moles uh, cube dm minus 9. Because this is moles per dm cube squared and moles per dm cube. And it will give you moles cube dm minus 9. Now this is how we solve KSP. You, what you realize is that you don't need the whole table. It's just the amount that will dissolve is all you needed. Because that's the final amount of the ions. You don't need the amount of the initial solid at all in the KSP because we don't have solid in the KSP. This is how you solve for finding out the value for KSP using solubility. Let me show you another example by doing it straightforward without the table. This question is also given in your notes. This is to find the KSP of a saturated solution of cadmium sulfide whose formula is given to you. CDS. So just for the for record, the equilibrium equation would be CDS solid dissolves to give CD. Now since sulfide we know is 2 plus, C, so 2 minus, so CD must be 2 plus because sulfide is 2 minus. We deduce that from this. And this is solubility. So what is solubility? Solubility is how much dissolved. So really what we know is 1.46 times 10 power of minus 11 so how much dissolved? Let's just do that. That's all we need. And it dissolved in the ratio of 1 is to 1. So in this case, it's even more simpler. We have this and we have this. So this is the amount that dissolved, which will actually give the amount of the ions at equilibrium. And all you got to do is then plug them into the KSP expression, which is going to be the right-hand side only. You know, so we don't need any of that. We just put solubility here. So what do we have? 1.46 times 10 power minus 11 into 1.46 times 10 power minus 11. And this will give you what? The final answer, which is, if you simplify this, it becomes 2.13, approximately in three significant figures, 2 minus 22. This will be mole square dm minus 6. You know why? Because there are only two concentration terms here. So now, this is how you can calculate the KSP for anything if you're given the solubility basically yeah let me take you back to the first question we did so something like this so it says here the saturated solution of magnesium fluoride is given right so let's say how do i show you an easier way to do this even the easiest way to do this is you take the equation first and write it down so in this case that would be mg2 plus aqueous and two fluoride ions aqueous and what i recommend everybody is that before you even look at the value for solubility, assume X is the solubility. What that means is X amount dissolves in mole per dm cube to give me the ratio of the equation X in this case and 2X. Because 1 gives 1 and 2. So X would give X and 2X. This will be left A minus X. This will be X and this will be 2X. And what is X? X is your solubility. That's your solubility. Then when I tell the students is, take the, take the KSP expression, which is in this case Mg2 plus, into F minus whole square. And Mg in terms of X is X, 
and f minus the concentration of f minus is 2x because it was ratios 1 is to 2 and he plugged that in the expression so mg is x and f minus was 2 times x why because 1 mg f2 gave me 2 f minuses and squared and the one I'm telling you is simplify this this becomes 4x cubed once you've done ksp in the in the in the expression like this all you then have to do is plug in the solubility and then you solve it so here this will become 4 into 1.22 times 10 power minus 3 it's cube it'll give you the exact same answer as before no difference and there's a reason why i'm asking you to do this because once you can learn to do it in terms of x it'll be easier to do the reverse calculations that we also have to do sometimes where we have to find the solubility from ksp and in that case we'll definitely always work with x or a variable so it's already easier to start off thinking of like that so you take x as solubility solve it in terms of x and just at the end plug in the value for x and get the final answer and let's try a different question with this x right now now this becomes a little more complicated if you notice here this is calculate the KSP of a saturated aqueous solution of calcium fluoride that contains a certain concentration so what is this this value is the solubility of calcium fluoride this is the concentration of the saturated solution but it's given in grams per dm cube and what you want to do is that understand that grams per dm cube can be divided by the molar mass and it becomes moles per dm cube molar mass is the MR so what you want to do is you want to find the MR of calcium fluoride first and once you do that then only can you convert the solubility into moles per dm cube now the MR for this fellow is calcium is 40.1 and fluorine is 19 and this comes out to 78.1 and then what you have is uh, then so the solubility of calcium fluoride in moles per dm cube would then become 0 0.1 0.0168 over 78.1 and this will give you the uh, basically the concentration in moles per dm cube this will become um, I believe 2.15 times 1 by minus 4 in 3 significant figures there you go so now this is your x your solubility all right once you have that then what do you do you write the equation the equation is calcium fluoride dissolves to give calcium 2 plus and 2 fluoride minus so if x dissolves it'll give me x and 2x and the ksp for this is calcium 2 plus that's the right hand side and fluoride minus squared and calcium is x and fluoride is 2x squared this again becomes like the previous example 4x cubed that's fine and then what do you do you plug the value for x as 2.15 times 10 power minus 4 that you just found out in moles per dm cube and literally that's all you gotta do and at times second year chemistry seems so much simpler right and so what does it come out to be overall this comes out to be 3.98 times 10 power minus 11 and in this case the units are moles cube dm minus 9 and that's the ksp for calcium fluoride hey there if you like what you saw right now head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers videos revision guides flashcards and academic support all of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.